Hi, it's Dan from EUJuicers.com, and this video is a first look at Omega's new juice cube. As you can see, I'm in a cube here. Probably doesn't look so good on your screen, so let's get a little more space here. Ah, that's better. Now I can move around a bit. This is an interesting product. I'm anxious to take a look at it myself. It's really a new thing from Omega, and what they've done here is taken a traditional horizontal juicer and reshape the form factor. As you can see, it's very cool. Let me turn it at an angle here, get a better look at it. And the purpose of this is to try to combine the functionality, the multi-purpose of a horizontal juicer with a different look, maybe a more stylish look, depending on your tastes. Looks are subjective, of course. I think it looks cool. When my wife first saw this, a picture of it, she said, I want one. I said, ah, it's the same thing. It's a horizontal juicer, what we already have. She said, yeah, but it looks so cool. Um, it's a little smaller, depending on uh, how you look at it. It's wider, but a uh, horizontal juicer is going to take up a little more length on your counter. But again, uh, the form factor, the big benefit is everything is stored here in this cube. Uh, for example, at home, we have a separate tray where we keep all the uh, accessories for our horizontal juicer. In this one, as I'm going to show you right now, they were all right here. Now below the main unit here, here is the juice container and the pulp container with a few things thrown in. And they're labeled in case you get curious. Juice on the juicing container and it is uh, gradiated. There's a scale here. It holds 900 milliliters. Put that there. Also, there's a strainer if you want to use that. On this side, the pulp container, this is where they store the a tray that goes on top of the feeding tube, along with the pulp regulation knob. You'll see that in action soon here. And then labeled pulp. This is where the pulp will be stored. I'll just put that there. Now the main housing assembly here is just like any other horizontal juicer. You've got the cap there, then the juicing screen. Comes with two screens. There's a regular fine juicing screen and a blank screen. Put that there. Along with the auger and the housing unit. But that's not all. On the back here is a little drawer, which is kind of cool. This is where all the other accessories are kept, mainly all the nozzles that will be used for the multi-purpose functions for making sorbets, ice creams, uh, pastas, things like that. And I'm just going to make a space here to put all of those. Quite a big assortment of those. There's six of them, all in different shapes. Behind that, here's the blank screen that you'll use with those. And one last cool thing here, let's rotate it back. They've managed to find a place to store the brush and the plunger in the unit itself, which is pretty cool. Here's the plunger, it has a nice uh, rubberized handle on the top, and a big heavy duty cleaning brush for when you're all done and you're scrubbing the juicing screens. And the on-off switch, let me turn that again, right here on the top has a plastic or rubberized clear gasket just to keep juice out. And notice here, I like the looks of this. They've got their Omega logo here. This is solid metal. And somehow the engineers have managed to make a U-turn. The, the motor, it's the same motor as in a standard horizontal juicer, but here, it is going 180 degrees, shooting off this direction. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this. So at this point, it's just like assembling a horizontal juicer. Put on the housing, the auger, the screen, and the cap. And one thing that's, depending on which horizontal you've got, which may be a little different, is the pulp regulator. It is nice that it has this uh, gradient here. There's a little line on both sides, so no matter how you put it on, it will line up. That shows you a scale of zero to three. On top of that, the tray, 
and the handily labeled juice container here. Pulp, I like to put there. And that's it, it's fast, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna organize these things, put these back in their tray and get ready for juicing. I'm gonna start out with carrots. Our production designer has made these nice carrot cubes to fit in the theme. And so I'll juice some of them as well. Again, it's a horizontal juicer, there's not much to say. I've set the flow regulator at max and it's a fairly quiet unit. Looks like that should be just about enough. My pulp container's full. And I just wanted to juice about a glass, uh, glasses worth. It is pretty dry. I'd say a bit drier than mine. My home unit doesn't have a pulp regulator. Again, with maximum back pressure, it should give you a drier pulp. Otherwise, it juiced fine just as you'd expect from an Omega. And that's it. All right, next up are some beets. Sticking with the theme of root vegetables. Again, I'll keep the pulp regulator at maximum pressure for something like this, something dense like this. Well, they're practically self-feeding. I think the way you cut them. Just about used up all the beets here. One thing I notice when they're cut into these small strips, it's basically feeding itself. They're small enough, they're just getting caught in there. And that's it. I played around with the pulp regulator a bit. I had it up on a high pressure, and then I set it on a low, and I can really feel the difference in the pulp. The pulp later, when it was at a low pressure, sticks together, and the pulp earlier is more powdery, more fine, which just means more juice is being extracted. Alright, moving on from root vegetables, I want to try some oranges. These should juice fine. Oranges juice pretty well in any machine. So I've opened the flow regulator to the least amount of pressure. No need to put any back pressure on oranges.
Yeah, I've got more than enough juice for a glass. Again, juicing oranges with something like this is effortless. And I don't know if it's the auger's different, if the housing is different, or if it's the way they're cut, but I'm surprised these are feeding pretty much on their own. When I use my horizontal at home, I usually have to push them a bit. All right, that's plenty. And as expected, orange juice, piece of cake for this thing. All right, now I'm gonna try some greens. I've got here some iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna mix that along with some celery, see how that goes. I'm using maximum pressure for these just to get full extraction. Okay, it looks like I've got enough for a glass. Seemed to go fine. I don't know if you've ever juiced celery before. I like celery a lot. I like it as a snack and I like it in soups. So recently I put some celery in my standard carrot beet apple. And let me tell you, tell you a little celery goes a long way. I didn't realize juiced celery had such a distinctive flavor. I put in like three stalks and it kind of overwhelmed the taste. All right, sticking with the green theme, I got some green apples, Granny Smith, in my opinion, the best apples for juicing, especially real fresh ones. All right, looks like I have just about enough. Again, no surprises. Works just like my horizontal at home. Moving right along, I've got a bowl of red globe grapes. These are the ones with seeds in them. Shouldn't matter to the juicer. Look at that self-feeding.
All right, I just want to finish up this bowl of grapes, get them all juiced. As expected, it went fine. Grapes have a real high juice content. So a small bowl of grapes goes a long way. And I'm gonna wrap up the juicing here with some pineapple. Now what I've got here is pineapple along with some celery root for two reasons. One, it's kind of a nice uh, flavor combination. The sweetness and the typical celery taste complement each other. And also sometimes pineapple can have a little trouble uh, backing up in a juicer, um, in my horizontal juicer from time to time. If I try to push it too fast, that might happen. Something uh, dense like this or a carrot, something like that will help move it along through. And just to be clear, I have the flow regulation set at the most open position. That's zero on here. So like I said, sometimes pineapple can back up a bit. It seemed okay, I had the pressure at the lowest setting. At one point I noticed a bit backing up, so I put in a piece of celery root and it moved things along pretty well. So I'm looking forward to tasting this pineapple celery root, never tried it. All right, so that's all the juice I'm making. Next, I wanna show you how to clean this unit. It's just the same as most any horizontal juicer, but first I need to clear off these cute cubes here and make a space in my sink. So clean up on one of these is fast and easy, just like any horizontal juicer. Um, what have I got? Got pulp, you just empty that in the garbage, obviously. The pulp in the juice container, just rinse out. Maybe a little soapy water, depending on what you've juiced. I might use that with after beets. And of course the unit itself, you just slide it open. I like to bring the whole thing over. I disassemble mine over the sink. Now remember, this is pineapple, so there's going to be a lot of fiber and things in here, yeah. But just like any other auger juicer, rinse off the auger. Rinse off the main housing unit. As well as the cap and the flow control knob. And the only thing that requires any kind of work, of course, is the screen. Remember the brush is right there, handy. And you just scrub on the juicing screen here. I like to do it inside and out, and then run a little water through. And that's it. So even after pineapple, it cleans up real fast. I'm going to put the machine back together. So that's a look at the brand new Omega Juice Cube. 
And again, I think it's very cool looking. It was fun for me to do. And like I said, my wife is looking forward to seeing this in person. Such a cool looking machine. But again, functionally, it's a horizontal juicer. So if you like the style, I'd say go for it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I see we're going back to cube form again. So that's my cue to get out of here. If you want more information, make sure to visit our website. That's at eujuicers.com. See you next time. Yeah, what kind of, what kind of cube horrible puns can I think of square? <laughs> Let's get all squared up. Being ready, squared up. Cube. Cube. <laughs>